Okay, this is not tech related or VR related. Just kind of give an update as far as what I'm doing here in the garden before summer hits. So I don't know if any of you are familiar with what I have here in the uh, my side yard, I guess. But uh, as you can see behind me, this is my garden. It needs some work. It's kind of have fallen apart for the, you know, over the last, what, six years now? I think this is six, sixth year, but I'm gonna try and show you what I've been working on. I've had, um, let me show you. I have, a, I have boxes that are falling apart. These are all cedar wood, but um, over the years, they've kind of just fallen apart. I'll show you here what I got. So here you see, um, this is like, this has come out of the ground and these boards are broken apart. Screws are still good because I put, you know, screws that wouldn't rust, obviously. Cedar lasted a good, like I said, six years before really kind of just falling apart now. It's all become kind of brittle, as you can hopefully see. But uh, got a couple boxes that are like that. Just boxes falling apart everywhere. So what I've done, last year I started working on replacing the boxes. I still got work to do on those because I don't like how they kind of turned out. But I do like the kind of wood. It's not real wood. It's like plastic or whatever. But it should last a long time. These are... I don't like the way they're set up, so I'm gonna fix them, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So this is not, this is not a uh, real wood. Should last a long time. It's like that uh, for decking and stuff, like a plastic of some sort. I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah, look, this is it here. There you go. Yeah, but it's heavy. It's heavy and it'll uh, last a long time. Doesn't really break down very easily. Also have this thing. I'm gonna try this out. It's a little smaller than my boxes are four foot by four foot. But here, I'm gonna try it. Got this over at um, uh, what is it? That uh, uh, it's like Farm and Fleet or something like that. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. Got some uh, mulch stuff I made. I made it in the uh, trash can. <laughs> uh, was put in there last year, and then of course sat open and. You know rain water and snow and all that and and voila just dumped it out dumped it out and go in one of these boxes so i did start covering today um these boxes start covering them with the black tarp some of the vegetables i've got going on here i don't even remember what they are just to put them on so um what i'm going to show you here is i started repairing some of these boxes i um Forgot I had a bunch of these uh, plastic, here I'm gonna show you. Had a bunch of these plastic tubing PVC pipes. See, got a whole bunch. So I started using them because the wood is rotting out that's in the ground. So I'll show you what I did. So these were all falling apart like the other ones. So I ended up pulling the screws out and I put these pipes in here and cut them. And I'm gonna probably put concrete in them just pour it down the hole and let it let it saw you know have like a little concrete thing that goes in the ground I, I tapped them in with a, with a mallet so I think I'm gonna do that with these two because I don't like right now I only have them have them screwed into this but um, I don't like it because it doesn't line up very well but the corner pieces I use the PVC pipe will work so that's what I've been working on. I got one, two, let me see here. One, two, three, I still need to cover that one. Four, I need to cover that one. And then five, those are my five boxes. Everything else doesn't have actually in it, anything in it this year. We have uh, all of our blackberry, blackberry bushes. And then we, we do have blackberry over here too, but it also, I have some raspberry hidden in there somewhere as well, raspberry bushes. Um, and then I don't have, last year we tried these things, <laughs> but it didn't work real, real well. All right, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the, oh, we put the tools up on the, the wall. I'm gonna put a thing up there, like lettering that says, uh, like zombie, zombie uh, defense weapons or something like that, that'll be funny. But uh, this is a, what, 36 by 36 foot area that I fenced in. Fenced it all in, oops, fenced it all in, as you can see. And then I 
put chicken wire down on the bottom. I did that about six years ago. Uh, and then the real magic, I'm going to show you. Um, this is a huge game changer. I put this in a couple years ago. Uh, this is uh, automatic timing water system. And I'll show you. I'll, I'll start it for... Uh, I'll just manually start it for like three minutes so you can see what, what it is. But it should kick on here. There it goes. So all these lines up top are running to water. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. As you can see, water is coming down. And it goes down on there. Alright, let's see I have I have it all. Definitely can't see that one. Oh, there we go. It's hard to see for me anyways. Uh, probably easy for you, I don't know. But yeah, so I have them all over the place. These little lines, they're running water. They'll just, they usually run like half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the evening. Um, oh yeah, I guess I had, that was another compost box, but it's, it's growing tomatoes. So I'm just gonna let it grow. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about worry about it. Uh, oh yeah, I guess we have strawberries back there too. I keep forgetting about those way back there. But everything else is shut off. I have, uh, let me see if I can show you here. There we go. See, I have this shut off, so no water's coming out because there's nothing, nothing in the box. So that gives you an idea. So you can see my whole area. Um, oh, by the way, this thing is amazing. Let me show you what it can do. This thing is freaking, I used to use wheelbarrows all the time. They did rust out and get broke and they only have one wheel and sometimes you'd try to dump it and after you fill it up with heavy stuff and end up like tipping it over somewhere where you didn't want it to go. But um, I'm gonna show you. So this thing, first and foremost, is super easy to, to turn around and then watch this. You pull this thing up, it's got a lock on it, but you pull it and then it dumps. And I was like, Oh really? But no, this is this is so awesome, and it's uh, I think it's seven cubic feet or something like that. And then look at this, I can dump it all the way, all the way down. I hope you can see that. Yeah, look at that. So it's freaking amazing. And then, and that's it. Voila! So amazing. So yeah, so I'll get back in the middle here, and I'll give you the whole whole view of our entire garden so all the way around this is it I got I'm moving I'm moving some dirt up from underneath the mulch out so one of my other things I'm working on and then uh, moving the mulch back on top so because I have ground cover underneath it it's been there for a long time still holding up too hasn't decayed or anything it's really good ground cover so anyways that's it that's the uh this magical 36 foot by 36 foot garden. And I have what? One, two, three, four, eight, 12, uh, what that, 16, 16, four foot by four foot garden boxes, raised, raised garden boxes. So yeah, that's really cool. Anyways, just wanted to give you that kind of heads up. Something I work on usually in the spring. It's kind of late in spring. We didn't really have a lot of rain or anything. So <sighs> I just waited. Now we're kind of getting it all going. So, and like I said, I mean, it looks great. It's really nice. Try to keep it up. It really falls apart. And after everything grows, it's just, it's just a huge mess. So anyways, that's it. Figured I'd share that with you guys and... Hopefully you like it. That's what I do every year. And then we, you know, we eat all the veggies and then we give away veggies sometimes and some of it we can. So yeah, that's what we do. It's great. All right. So hope you enjoyed my tour of my side garden. Bye for now.